The measure of intelligence is the ability to change. And today I hope to change some mindsets about why most people are struggling. Today I'm gonna kinda of change a lot of mindsets out there on why people think people are poor or broke or any of those things. So we know it's a fact that the majority of people out there, and it doesn't matter what country you look at, you can look at the United States of America, the country I live in, right? Most people, at the end of every month, they have almost no money left over or very little money left over. And why is that? Why is that? Well, today I'm gonna change some mindsets out there and I hope this will be kind of a life-changing video to some of you guys who need a video like this. So, so the reason I got my eraser today, I got a little uh, marker here. These are the three main reasons why people think people are poor or struggling. This is why I'm this way. This is why I'm this way. The first one is a lot of people like to put on laziness. Somebody's poor, somebody's broke, somebody doesn't have any money left over because they're lazy. They're lazy. That could not be further from the truth. Some of the hardest working people I've ever met in my life are not lazy, but are poor. I mean, think about how many landscapers I know out in Arizona, here in Vegas, that work out in 115 degree heat, sweat their butts off, all for minimum wage. Back when I was 18 years old, I used to work for Einstein Bagels. I would clean the dishes in the back room for hours upon hours. Don't call me lazy, I was working my butt off for $7.50 an hour. So, are there some people that are poor or broke or barely getting by that are lazy? Absolutely. freaking lutely Absolutely there's some. There's some that just want government handouts or whatever. Absolutely there's some in there. But some of the hardest working people you'll ever meet in your life are poor or broke or barely getting by. So, that's not a real reason. Let's erase that. A lot of people also like to say, well, they didn't go to college. They didn't graduate college. That's why they're struggling. Because they can't get a better job or whatnot. Hmm. I seem to know a massive amount of people that went to college and are barely scraping by or are considered in that poor class, make under basically what the, uh, the medium income is. I know a lot of people that graduated college and are in that. So just going to college, that's not going to make you rich. That's not going to get you even to not even, let's say not even rich, just above, you know, struggling, you know, having a few extra thousand dollars around it at the end of every month. Just because you went to college? Absolutely not. I, we all know a lot of people who went to college who uh, are not in a great situation. And another thing people like to pin it on is debt. You know how vocal I am about speaking about debt. You know, I hate debt. I hate people that, you know, take out all these personal loans that don't, you know, deserve in my opinion, but the banks give them to them just because they feel like they collect payments. But the problem with debt is most of the time, the reason people take out debt either because they have to because they're in a bad financial situation already or because they feel like they feel like they're not worthy of anything. So I need to have this car. I need to have this bigger house than I can really afford just to make myself feel better because I really feel like I, I can't get that any other way than taking out debt. So that's not really a real way either, in my opinion. All of them are legitimate. All of them have you know something to them, but it's not the biggest reason. I'm gonna show you the biggest reason right now on why, and this is what 90 to 95% of people out there think. This is the way their mentality is, guys. I'm gonna draw it out for you here. And this is most people. Let's see, so. All right, so. Time equals money. Most people, I'm talking 90, 95%, maybe even more than 95% of people, they think the only way to make money is by giving up their time. So they have to do something, they have to do a task, they have to do a job, and for that job they make money. And that's the only way they can make money. And so people think, well if I wanna make more money then I just need to give more time, okay? Or they think, well, if I want to make more money, then I need to give even more time and get another job. So you need to have two jobs. Oh, let me get three jobs. Guess what, guys? I used to have two jobs. Remember I told you I worked at Einstein Bagels? I was also working for Walgreens at the time, making $8.10 at Walgreens, $7.50 at Einstein's when I was 18, 19 years old. Guess what it added up to? A whole lot of nothing. I was still broke at the end of the day. Just because you give up your time does not mean you're gonna make more money. But that's the way most people think. They think literally the only way you can make money out there is by giving up more of your time, doing a task, doing a job for somebody, and that's how you make more money. 
Absolutely not. The game changer is that's not the only way you can go. Let's talk about, let's say uh, Jeff Bezos, okay? Jeff Bezos, uh, one of the richest men ever, CEO of Amazon, founder of Amazon, biggest shareholder at Amazon. So Jeff Bezos, how does he make money? He makes money every second. I'm gonna put ES. He makes money every second of every day. He doesn't have to trade his time for money. When he's sleeping, he's making money, because guess what? Amazon, when he's sleeping, is making tens of millions of dollars in revenue, literally while he's sleeping. Uh, Amazon Web Services bringing in millions upon millions of dollars when he's sleeping. He has employees running all those tasks, so he doesn't have to trade his time for money. His, his time was already spent, and that's just yielding results now. He makes money constantly. So you say, well, Jeremy, Jeff Bezos, that's, you know, he's a billionaire. That's so hard for me to even comprehend someone of that level. So I'll tell you about myself. Someone that makes six figures a year, and that's easier for people to understand. Now, my way is not necessarily the best way for everybody out there, okay? My way is just my way, okay? So there's a ton of different routes you can go. There's a ton of different routes you can go where you can make money constantly, okay? So we're just gonna talk about me for a second. And I'm someone that, you know, is making really good money, but at the same time, it's understandable to everybody out there because I'm not some kind of billionaire or something, okay? So we got Jeremy's bank in the middle. I picture that being my bank account. What's all coming in Jeremy's bank account? How are all the different ways Jeremy's making money, okay? Um, While well, you're watching this video on YouTube, okay? So that's one way, YouTube. I make YouTube ad revenue, okay? So I make, uh, when a video shows, usually an ad plays, somebody watches more than I think 15 or 30 seconds of that, I get paid. It's only a few pennies a time or whatever, or maybe a nickel a time, but guess what? Those nickels add up, especially when you're getting thousands, tens of thousands of views, okay? So that's one way of Jeremy making money. I'm also a book author. So I got a few different books in the market. This is the one that sells, honestly. The other two books, I got a passive income book and like a motivational book. Those ones don't sell for crap. It's all about this book. So I make money from this book sale. Every time that book sells, I make like seven to $10, okay? So I make money from that. I also have a stock market course. Uh, uh, SC, stock market course. It's a $19 course linked in the description. It's, I just came out with it a couple weeks ago. It's actually doing way better than I ever expected. I never expected so many people to buy it that have. Neither, none of these I'm killing it on, right? None of these YouTube ads, like I said, usually you make pennies or nickels per time in ad plays. Um, like my book, uh, what is it? Uh, I make seven, $10. I'm not killing it on each sale. My stock market course, I sell it for $19. Like none, none of these I'm killing it. But guess what? The numbers start adding up when you start, when you times it by hundreds or thousands of people, right? So these are some ways so far. I have a real estate marketing company, okay? So that would be RM. I basically uh, take pictures for homes that are going up for sale, do videos, do anything um, that's related to realtors that need help. Uh, I even consult some things like that. Now, where this one's bad, this one I have to be there. I don't have a way of any other way of making money. But the great thing is in 2018, I'll probably be hiring somebody to go do all those photos, videos, all that type of stuff, so then I don't have to. So then that becomes something I can make money at even when I'm not there. So that's a great thing there. But right now, I have to be there for all anything real estate marketing related. Um, another way I make money every month that goes into my bank account, well, it technically stays in a different account than my bank account, but this one is uh, D, what does that stand for? Dividends. A few of my stocks I own actually pay me dividends every three months. So every three months, I get to collect dividend payments. The next one up here, guys, is, what is it? Stocks, stocks. Generally speaking, my stocks all, generally speaking, appreciate over the longer term. Maybe they go up initially, I make a bunch of money real quick. Maybe they go down and then it takes a while to make money on that. But mostly, I mean, 99% of the time, I'm gonna make money on stocks I own, 99% of the time. So stocks, they bring me money and those bring me money every single month because I own multiple stocks. And the last way I get money is AA, which is Amazon Affiliates. I got a few affiliate links in the description of all my videos, some to my books, some to some of my other favorite books, things like that. And uh, if somebody buys something within like a 24 hour period, I get paid for that. 
So Amazon affiliate links. So look at all the different ways I personally have of making uh, making money. Now you could have a million different ways of making money. It, it doesn't have to be anything related to this. There's so many massive amounts of ways you can make money out there, guys. It's disgusting. You just have to find what's right for you. You just have to change your mentality from being, I need to give up my time to be somewhere, to be doing something to make money. Or the only way I can make some more money is if I get promoted, no. Or the only other way I can make more money is if I get a second job. Absolutely not, guys. You can just create more things and more things that bring you money. Look at how many different things I have. And I'm not even 28 years old. I'll be 28 years old here in a couple months. Look at how many different ways I have of getting money. YouTube, uh, book author, I sell a stock market course, um, what was this one again? Oh, my <laughs> real estate marketing company, uh, Amazon affiliate links, stocks, dividends paid to me. All these things are yielding money for me. All these things. And think about my age. Now, what am I going to have when I'm 38 years old? If I'm blessed enough to stay on this earth, I live to be 38 years old. Imagine how many I'll have then, guys. So think about that. So change your mentality from being, uh, the only way I can make more money is if I go get another job or if I you know, uh, trade my time for something. Absolutely not, guys. You can make money so many ways. This is just my personal way of doing it. You gotta figure out what's right for you. Just like um, Jeff Bezos' personal way, is, is Amazon and Amazon Web Services. And of course on Amazon, he could just sell books on there, right? But he's like, I, we, can get another, we can get another source of income. Let's also sell diapers. Well, we get another source of income. Let's also sell some food items on there. We can also get some more, let's, uh, let's uh, add electronics. So Jeff Bezos with Amazon now has millions of different ways of getting income through Amazon. So that's another thing you gotta understand. When you just have a business, it's not just about that business is yielding your results, it's all those individual things are, are yielding you results, or are bringing you money and bringing you money. Now Amazon sells just about anything. So think about that, guys. Think about how can I diversify my revenue? How can I get more and more things? Because most people, most people at the end of the day, guys, they, they don't have this, they don't have this, they don't have this, they don't have this, they don't have this. They don't have this. They just got one thing bringing them money and that's it. And this is most people out there. This is the majority of people. And it's called the J-O-B, their job, their job. That's the only thing that's going in their bank account. That is it. That is it, guys. That's a hard thing to do. That's a hard thing to get ahead of the game if that's your only way of making income, guys. Unless you're, I don't know, LeBron James or some you know ridiculous athlete or something and you got a job to do and you can make $10 million a year, it's gonna be really hard for you to get ahead of the game if your only way of making money is that job funneling into your bank account. Think about expanding your mind so you can do other things, guys. And it takes a while to figure out what route do I wanna go, but once you have the mindset of that, it's all gonna get so much easier for you. It's all gonna get so much easier. So um, share this video with your friends if you, you think it will help out them, uh, any family members that might enjoy it. It's just a, a, mind, a mindset shift type video I, I wanna do here, guys, that uh, you don't need to get a second job. No, no, figure out some things you can do on your own, guys. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching and have a great day.